My name is Yulan Lin, and I'm a developer advocate for Data Studio. In my last video, I introduced the DSCC Gen developer tooling for community visualizations. In this video, I'm going to talk through its intended workflow, how you actually write a visualization using the template provided, and two, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the files inside so you understand better what's going on. To develop with the DSCC Gen template, first I update the config, then update the local message, then develop locally, change const local to false in index.js, then deploy the visualization. Let's actually do that. So this is an already created template project. I'm going to update the config at source index.json. I use the word update because the template already comes with a working config. So if I were writing a scatter plot, I'd want an index dimension. And then let's say I want an X metric and a Y metric. I'll save that. Because the config determines the structure of the message from Data Studio, an updated config means your test data will have a representative structure. Now I run the command npm run update message. And a visualization that displays the message from Data Studio will be deployed to the dev GCS file location I specified earlier. So I'll copy this. And I will deploy that to Data Studio. I'm going to click on Explore More, Build Your Own Visualization, Manifest Path. And the next thing I'll do is I'll actually copy this message into source local message. So copy that over. Next thing I'll do is replace the code in source index.js uh, with just a console log. So it says write viz code here. I'm going to replace that with console.log data. And I'm going to run npm run start. And so the initial visualization is gone. I'm going to open up the developer console. And you see that here it's printed out the object that I just copied in. And I open up the console to show you that I'm basically constantly looking at it to remind myself what the structure of the data looks like. Then I usually develop locally until I'm happy with the result. Let's say, for argument's sake, that I'm now happy. What I'll do is change this const local variable to false because I now want it to work in Data Studio and save index.js. A quick note here, as you're developing, you can use either yarn or npm to manage dependencies. To build my files and upload my visualization to my GCS dev location, I run the commands npm run build dev and npm run push dev. Once it's done, the scripts will print out your deployment location. Then you can either re-add your visualization to your Data Studio report, or you can go to the report and refresh it. Once you're satisfied with your visualization, you can actually run build colon prod and npm run push colon prod in order to build and deploy to your prod GCS location with caching enabled and minified JavaScript. So that's the basics of the workflow. Now let's take a tour of the different files involved. So source contains all of the files you need to edit, including the local message. And so that's what I did when I downloaded the local message using npm run update message. Let's take a quick look at the manifest because there's a couple of things you should not edit. The dev mode rule and the your GCS bucket under JS config and CSS are automatically substituted in for you. 
So please don't edit those. This is also where your dev buckets and prod buckets are defined. So if you want to edit those resource locations, edit these values in your package.json. Next, let's look at the scripts. So DSCC scripts runs the build and push scripts. You can also change the message format. This template being opinionated defaults to the object format, but you can change the update message command to use the table format by editing the dash F parameter to be table instead of object. Finally, there's a readme in the root of the template directory, and it provides a quick reference of everything I've talked about today. In summary, the general workflow when developing with the DSCC gen tooling is to update the configuration, update the local message, develop locally, change const local to false, then deploy the visualization. If you want to go back and see the visualization running in your local browser, what you'll want to do is change const local back to true. We designed the tooling to be easy to get started with for developers who are familiar with JavaScript and NPM. So open the terminal, use mpx at google slash dscc dash gen space viz and check it out. To learn more about community visualizations, visit developers.google.com slash data studio slash visualization and connect with us on social media using the hashtag data studio devs.